Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. I've now been shopping. Um, I'm going to do a comparison, a jumbo battered sausage comparison. I've been to Iceland and I've been to B&M Home Store. Come and have a look what I got. I've seen these uh, in Iceland. Um, Harry Ramsden's um, four battered jumbo pork sausages, 528 grams. Now I have reviewed um, battered jumbo pork sausages before by Harry Ramsden, but they were the ones in salt and vinegar. And it was when I very first started the channel and I remember them being very, very vinegary. These were four pounds for four. I went to B&M and I got these. Um, is it Balanine? Chip shop style. Six cooked Irish jumbo sausages in a crispy batter. 340 grams. Now these are, were in the fridge and these are frozen. These were two pounds and twenty-five pence. So I thought, oh, we'll do a bit of a comparison here, see which tastes the best. So let's have a look. I've said I've, I've, I've ruined this bit, haven't I? Let's have a look at the packages. And here they are. We'll have a look at the Harry Ramsdens first. Now I worked it out per one hundred grams, and per one hundred, these only work out at ten pence more because these are seventy-six pence for a hundred grams. And these are 66 pence for 100 grams. But they're four quid. And these are two pounds and 25. Right, so let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at the nutritional information there. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. 528 grams, seasoned pork sausage encased in batter. Um, and they are the ingredients there. So we've got pork sausage. Um, we've got 76% and then we've got pork 56%. Um, allergens are wheat, um, soya, sulfite and barley in there. So let, the one we want to look at is the pork of 56%. So let's have a look at these. Balanine. I think it's pronounced. Please let me know. Um, so these are 340 grams. So we're getting a lot less, aren't we? Um, IE sticker there. Um, some nutritional information, if you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. So let's have a look. Six cooked Irish jumbo sausages in crispy batter. And there are the ingredients there. We've got pork sausages, 55% um, pork, 60%. So what's the pork in this one? Again, if I carry 56%. So we're getting less pork. It's got overall 76, but the pork content is 40, is 56%. So that's less, isn't it, than, than what you get in these. Uh, allergens are wheat um, sulfites in there. Yeah. So you can do them in the oven or you can deep fry them. And I no doubt if you deep fry them, they're going to taste really good. Let's have a look, see how you do these ones. The best results um, cook from frozen. So you do them in the oven, look. Just the oven on there. So we'll do them both in the oven. So you're getting more you're getting more pork content in these ones than the Harry Rams. I, I expected these to be quite high, I'll be honest, but it's in the taste, isn't it, in that batter. So have we got a tab system? We'll just, we'll just do that one. Get into them. There we are, look. There is the sausage. That's what you get. Right, we've got a tab system on here. No, can we get them open without the use of it? Yeah, you can, but yeah, you have to be pretty strong. Not that I'm strong, saying I'm strong. <laughs> so these are a lot little. They're not jumbo then. They're just sort of the normal size, aren't they? When I, when I get one out and compare it, that's a proper a proper jumbo sausage you get from the chip shop, isn't it? And that's, you know, that's sort of a, a small a small batter jumbo. That's what I'd ask for. Can I get a small batter jumbo? You get that, don't you? But you get six of them. You get four of them. Um, right, so let's get them in the oven. Um, so I have counted them. You do get four in there. Uh, and it says you get six in here. So let's have a look. So I've got four in my hand and there's two in the bag. So that is six. Uh, we need to get this on, don't we? So I'm going to bake them 25 minutes at 190. Um, so I'll get that going now. 
and it'll, it'll start preheating and once it's preheated it'll beep again to let me know that it's ready for the food to go in. Uh, I'm going to put it on a baking tray and I'm going to use my pizza uh, baking tray that I got with it but it's going to go on a bit of parchment paper because this goes in for longer this is 22 to 25 minutes the other one's 12 to 15 minutes so I'll put this in first and obviously then I'll pop the other one in. Right the beeper's just gone off so it's letting me know it's ready to start cooking. So I'll get that in there. And I've got it at 180 for 25 minutes. We'll just go from there. Right let's get let's get the other one in now. Yeah, they're both in. Just having a brew. So it's Tuesday as well today and uh, Iceland do, um, for over 60s, the 10% discount um, on a Tuesday. That's throughout all the stores. Um, and these sausages from Iceland work out at £4 for four. So it's pound a sausage. The other ones, the um, Bellini, Bellini, the Irish sausages, they work out at 37 and a half pence a sausage. But they're a lot less, aren't they, and smaller. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribe to the channel and let me know if you've had these, either of these before. They're both new for me. I know they've been out a while. Right, I'll bring you back in about another five or six minutes. They're all, they're done. I've just got them out now. So that one's uh, still fizzing away. Look. Look at the Harry Ramsden one. It's bending. Got a bit of a bend on. Right, they're red hot, aren't they? So I'm going to um, let them cool down before I chop open them. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I'm just going to cut them in half and we'll have a look at them. So, yeah, that batter, I do know, I did notice it went like that when I did the salt and vinegar ones. It sort of, the, the, the sausage inside sort of shrinks. That's nice and crispy, that one, more so than that one. Right, let's, let's get them chopped in half. Both get them chopped in, oh cross contamination, oh no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Have a look inside, so we've got uh, 56 part content and 60. Oh, they're going to be red hot, aren't they? Oh, I do love a battered sausage. Cool. So the irony did he, you know, you're paying a pound for the big one, uh, which is a, a lot less than you'd pay in a, in a chip shop, that's for sure. Um, and it's Harry Ramsden, so it's supposed, supposed to be world famous. <laughs> oh, that's just fish and chips. Yeah, don't, 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 don't say sausage. And we'll see what these are like. Now, I have reviewed... This product before in farm foods, and I enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting good things from it. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them on their own, but then when I stick so I'm gonna douse a load of salt and vinegar on them. Um, and I got I got this as well, which I, I quite enjoy. This it's um I never thought I'd say I'd enjoy anything from Heinz, but it's Heinz curry sauce. Um, it, it, it's quite tasty. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not dissing Heinz at all. They are expensive compared to other brands which I've done in the past, which will be in the, my comparison playlist, and I'll put up a, a link in the description. We'll get into the Harry Ramsden first. Yeah, it's all right. Um, nothing special. The sausage has just pretty gone gone to like mush. Um, definitely needs salt and vinegar. The batter is. It's. It's not that good. It's not that good. Um, It definitely needs salt and vinegar. Maybe that's why I like the ones in the salt and vinegar. Um, or vinegar. I would eat salt and vinegar or vinegar. Battered jumbo sausages I did. I'll have to have a look. 
but I did like the vinegar on them. That's probably what the, the batter on these is a bit. It's it's it, well, it's not that good. It's, it's pretty tasteless. Mmm. Not being special. Right. I will get a drink of water, and then I'll try the other one. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't eat them like this, would you? I mean, unless you're on some sort of like Atkins diet or something like that, or some sort of like where you don't eat carbohydrates, because you have this with chips. Chips, mushy peas, small pot of curry sauce, load of bread and butter. But we'll just see, um, we'll see which is the tastiest. Let's, let's get into these now, these um, Irish ones. Completely different flavour. Completely different. The batter and the sausage, completely different. It's well seasoned. The sausage has gone to mush. The batter is, it's quite thick and they're a bit peppery, them ones. Um, the, the sort of, moving away from the sort of chip shop style, it says takeaway specials, it says chip shop style, but certainly different um, flavour to, to the chip, uh, the chip shop sausages that I'm used to. Um, I was going to say these are more sort of, the Harry Ramsdens are more sort of geared to all the, the chip shop, but even it, they're not really. <laughs> the sausage inside is, but the batter is falling by the wayside. Right, let's get some of this curry sauce and salt and vinegar on. Let's see if we can re um, revitalize these. Both, they both, they both need revitalizing in my eyes. They're both sort of. Not performing how they should do. Um, bit of salt, like that. So let's try it now. And the, that, that curry sauce is good as well, but that totally changed the old uh, review. Mmm. You definitely need salt and vinegar. And, and the Harry Ramsden's is somewhere like what you get at the chippy. But it's still, it's still not the same. I, I did, um, what did I, I did battered sausages from, where did I get them from? Was it B&M? Tony's Chippy, they were, they were right on the money. They were pretty much like what you get at the chippy. This um, Irish one, the Berlin, what's it called? Uh, Balanine. It's a bit better with salt and vinegar, but it's still way off the mark what I was expecting. So it all goes down to personal um, what you like. Talking with my mouth full. I think the one I sort of prefer out of them two would be Harry Ramsden's, but only just. And I was expecting a bit tastier than that um, the Balanine ones. I was expecting it to be more flavour, um, which I wasn't getting, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so it's up to you with a personal uh, taste and um, price. If you like more pork in your sausage, it's up to you, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to choose. Over 100 grams is only 10 pence difference, um, but it's four quid versus 2.25. So take care, all the best. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one.